Hey everybody, Jordan Hetrick here. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm the best-selling author of books about how to use GoPro cameras. In this video, I want to take you out and about in Maui to show you one of my favorite accessories to use with your GoPro camera. In the past couple of years, this mount called a snap mount has become one of the most versatile mounts in my huge, ever-growing pile of action camera accessories. Whether you're already an avid snap mount user, or if you've never even heard of this mount before, I think you'll find this video interesting to see the creative ways you can use this mount to capture some truly unique angles. I'm going to show you five different techniques you can use to mount your GoPro using a snap mount. At the end of the video, I'll share a few more tips to give you all the knowledge you need to get out there and capture some really cool shots using a snap mount. So let's check it out. So this mount here is called a snap mount. And if you're already an experienced snap mount user, you can skip ahead to the next chapter where I start to talk about some of the creative ways you can use snap mounts to mount your GoPro. Or of course, if you want to hang out, feel free to, to see if any of these accessories are new since you got your snap mount, since they have come out with some more accessories recently. Snap mounts are a system of magnetic mounts that really open up the possibilities for many more mounting locations. When most people think of a magnetic mount, they instantly just think of snapping it onto metal. But these mounts are way, way more diverse than that, and I'm gonna show you that in this video. Each snap mount has four of these super strong rare earth magnets. They're N52, and they're super strong. Once you stick them together, they're really hard to get apart. But that's great because it keeps your camera nice and secure. They're so strong that when you pull them apart, it's best to actually slide them like that instead of try to pull it straight off because it's pretty easy to pinch your fingers, which I've done and you'll probably do too if you pull it straight off. This here is the main snap mount. And this is where you're gonna attach your GoPro to using a thumb screw just like you're used to when you're used to mounting your GoPro cameras. So you just attach it with a thumb screw like that and get it nice and tight. And this is the only time you really need to mess with a thumb screw with snap mounts, which is really nice because as you know, getting those to be tight enough for your camera not to move can be a little bit tricky. You also wanna make sure that you mount it like this so it's kind of upright like that. That way when you mount it like this, you can fold it down and the camera's flush against the snap mount and that's just gonna create less bounce when you're out there moving around. And you can mount an Insta360 or any other camera with this. They're not all gonna fit as well into these little grooves like this one does here. There are two different snap mounts. There's one that's for a regular GoPro and there's one that's made for the media mod. And this one's just slightly different because the mounting piece is a little bit higher, which allows you to rotate your camera back flush against the mount just like this one, but it's with the media mod attached. It's also got a longer thumb screw to give you some clearance past the edge of that media mod. You've got a few different options for the back plate that the mount's gonna snap onto. And this is just the regular back plate. You'll see there's no mounting fingers on it, but it does have a little area here that you can use it to attach a lanyard, which is really convenient if you wanna snap it onto your chest. I've been wearing one right now, and then the magnet's always there and it's always ready for you. The next back plate is called an adapter plate, and it looks just like this, but the difference is it's got these mounting fingers here, so you can mount this to any of the different GoPro mounts and it will allow you to use your snap mount system with those mounts, which is really convenient to switch between different mounts. So you don't have to unscrew your camera and screw it back on. You can just snap it off, snap it onto another mount. The third option is this locking adapter. And this is just like the one I showed you before. It's got the mounting fingers here, so you can put it on any mounts, but it also has these little locking fingers here. So when you slide your camera onto this one, it actually locks into place as well as having that magnet power. And that's really good for extreme situations where you think your camera might get bumped off. And to put it on there, you just put it on at a 45 degree angle and then twist it. Now your camera is locked on super tight. And it's really unlikely to get knocked off when you're using this locking adapter. Snap mounts also makes a few more accessories that I'll show you throughout this video. But those are the main elements that you're gonna use to mount your GoPro with the snap mount. Now let me show you five different ways you can use the snap mount system for mounting your GoPro. The first way to capture some really unique angles with your snap mount is to just clamp it onto a surface. Because you've got magnets on both sides of it, as long as you can access both sides of the material and the material is relatively thin, like a thin piece of wood, material, or glass, just take your camera on one side, the magnet on the other side, clamp it together, and boom, your camera's mounted. So if you're vlogging, shooting B-roll for a TV or a video, or just getting some shots of your friends and fam, this is a really unique way to get some angles that you wouldn't be able to capture otherwise. Also, you can use this for a really quick and easy chest mount. So you just take the lanyard, put it over your neck, Take this little area here and tighten it so it's a little bit higher up on your chest here. So then just lower the lanyard down into your shirt and you've got it always there ready. When you want to switch angles, you can always get a nice POV shot. So you've got the lanyard here, you just snap it right on and your camera's mounted on your chest. You don't have to wear one of those silly chest mounts that sometimes are awkward. Plus with the built-in stabilization on the GoPro, especially the Hero 9, 10, 11, they have great stabilization. So when you're out there filming, you shouldn't see any movement. You can get a lot of great shots of this. The second creative way to mount your snap mounts is to use one of these snap plates. Now this is a magnetic plate with a sticky back on it. So this gives you a lot of opportunities to put up a mounting location wherever you want to. This is a great setup for a location that you want to use over and over. 
So say for example, you like to make videos about woodworking or cooking, for example, and you have a spot that you'd like to set up your camera, you can just stick this onto the wall there and you have a mounting location whenever you need it. So it's just there, it's ready and it's super secure. And then when you want to film that angle, you can just go ahead and snap your mount up there and start filming. When you want to pull your camera off, it's just so much easier than having to unscrew and switch mounts. You can just go straight from that one angle to the next seamlessly. And that's one of the beauties of using these snap mounts. Plus it just adds new locations that are so hard to get with any other mount. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like to help other people find it. It really does help the YouTube algorithm suggest it to other people just like you so they can also find it. Thank you so much. Next, if you're vlogging, traveling, or out on the road on an adventure, you're really gonna like this way to use your snap mounts because it makes it so quick and easy to switch between mounts that you can just get so many more shots. By using this adapter plate, you can mount it directly to any of your GoPro mounts that use that three-prong adapter. For example, you could take a tripod, a helmet, and a pole and put these adapters on each of your GoPro mounts. Now when you want to switch from the tripod to your helmet, for example, you just snap it off and snap it right on the next mount and you're ready to go. If you're using it on any of the mounts that you think might get knocked off, you can just use a locking plate like this one, then you just snap your GoPro on like that. Now it's super secure and it's not going to come off. It's like on a helmet, for example, where you might not be able to watch it and if you're like falling or something, you've got it locked on there nice and secure. When you're mounting it to a handle or a tripod, you can either have your adapter plate flat like that so then when you attach it, your camera is like this and you can see the back screen more clearly. Or you can also rotate it up and have everything in line just like that. And you can still see the touch screen and access it. You just have to go through this opening in the snap mount. For those of you who already use snap mounts, I would love it if you could leave some comments down below and just let me know which mounts you find the most useful with your snap mounts. It would really help out the newbies who are watching this video. Also, a lot of people say they don't like to use their snap mounts in the water, but if you're really worried about it, you can put the floaty on your GoPro and then use it with the regular snap mount. Uh, it doesn't fold all the way back like it should or like you want to for certain types of mounts, but depending on how you're mounting it, it might work for you. But if you use it with a locking adapter, you just lock it on. It's not gonna go anywhere. And if it does, then you've still got your camera floating here so you can go find it. So far, so good, I haven't lost one yet. But if you're using it on like a head strap, for example, say you're out snorkeling and you just wanna have it on a snap mount so you can pull it off to make sure it's recording, I don't feel like it's really necessary to have that floaty on there. And then you can have it so it mounts flush to your snap mount and it should be no problem. The next way I want to show you how to use your snap mount is to just magnetize it. And this is probably how you imagined using it when you got your snap mount because of these super strong magnets. You can just stick it onto any metal surface. This magnet's super strong and secure. And it's a super easy way to change angles quickly because you can just stick it on, pull it off, switch the angle, and you can just continue recording. If you're wondering what kind of metal items you can stick it on, cars and trucks are great, for example, for your travel shots. You can stick it up on the roof, then you can switch it, put it on the hood. You can even put it on the side of the car and get some multiple angles as you're out there traveling. You can also stick it onto motorcycles or street signs. I actually love using street poles, for example, to get some nice time lapses or night lapses. Because a lot of times when you're out there and you have a tripod, it's really hard to get a high angle or even a spot that you can put it without being in people's way. So if you go out there and you find a pole, you can stick it up pretty high and get some unique angles. And this works well because your camera is mounted in a super stationary position, which is what you need for those time lapses or night lapses. And you get a set up there, no one even notices it, and you can get some really cool shots that way. Basically anything that you see that is metal could be a great opportunity for a new angle. So if you're worried about sticking this on your car because you have a nice paint job, uh, you can actually just set it on there very gently and it shouldn't affect the paint job on your car. I've used it a lot just straight on my car. And I find it more convenient if I want to move locations a lot, you know, move it from the roof to the front of your car, and you can just get multiple angles while you're driving. However, there is this little mat you can use. You can set this down first and put the snap mount on top of it. This little mat will protect your paint job, which is one good thing about it. But another good thing is that it actually creates a bit more friction underneath the magnet here and prevents the camera from sliding around at all. Snap Mounts has tested these up to 100 miles per hour and found that they're safe up to 100 miles per hour. So if you're going to those upper limits, I would suggest using this little mat. That's just going to help the magnetization on your car and protect the paint job. And number five goes out to you vloggers, YouTubers, filmmakers, all you one or two person film crews who are trying to create movies and films with just one person. And there's some amazing content happening and it's amazing what we can do with one or two people these days compared to the huge crews of people who are making movies. But Snap Mounts makes it even that much easier to get all the footage that you need when you go to edit. Now, as you know, if you've edited videos, you're gonna need multiple angles, and Snap Mounts makes it so much easier to get multiple angles because you can put one of these snap plates on every one of your mounts, 
and you can just snap it on. You don't really need a locking adapter, especially if you're just doing lifestyle stuff. So it's even easier. You just basically just snap it on, hop over to the next mount, take it off and you can get another angle. Now you're definitely gonna wanna use a nice grip like this one. This is the Max Grip by GoPro. I like this one because it extends out so you can get some more distance between you and your camera when you're talking to your camera. But another great thing about it is you can extend these feet out and you've got a tripod. So especially with these snap mounts, you can set your camera down on a tripod. You can film yourself off of the distance. And then once you want to get a little different angle, go close to your camera, try not to block the lens with your hands, but grab the camera, and now you're walking with your camera for a more POV shot. And of course, if you have that lanyard on your chest, you can just snap it on there and get a shot where both your arms are free and you can show people the scenery or whatever you're showing them. Also, if you're using the media mod on your snap mount, make sure you get that media mod snap mount gives you more clearance for your camera and also more clearance for that thumb screw so that you can fit your media mod on there correctly. And also if you're using your GoPro without the media mod, it'll still work on that snap mount, no problem. So if you're a one person film crew and you're trying to get as many shots as possible in as little time, snap mounts is definitely the way to go. Now I've got a few more key tips for you that make this mount even more versatile. Next, if you're using the Hero 11, you can use in the built-in horizon lock to keep the camera's angle steady even if your camera is mounted kind of sideways, for example. And this is really convenient. Say you want to mount your camera on the side of your car. You can just press record first. It's going to keep that horizon level in the orientation that you want it. Then when you mount your camera sideways or at an angle, it's going to keep that horizon level. You can also get the same effect using the Max Lens mod on the GoPro Hero 9, 10, or 11. That has horizon lock, but it does max out at 2.7K resolution. So it's a bit lower resolution. The benefit of it is it does have a wider perspective. So it depends on where you're mounting it, but it might work well for you. Of course, if you need help with any of these settings, check out the link in the video description below for the book for your camera, and that will really help you out. Also, another question people have is, will the magnets mess with the GoPro? No, it will not affect the GoPro at all. It doesn't affect the storage on the micro SD card because those don't use a magnetic system to store the files. However, you might want to be careful storing it near a hard drive or near a computer because magnets can affect things like that. The third tip is that you can use this with any action camera. If it doesn't have the GoPro style mount, you can just use an adapter like this. Then you've got the quarter inch thread here to mount your camera directly. If you're using a 360 camera like the GoPro Max or the Insta360 X3, you can actually attach your extension pole directly to this, for example, and then mount your camera to the end of that. And now you have all the versatility of a snap mount, but you've got the invisible pole effect that you get with the 360 camera. Well, I sure hope that I helped you see the possibilities of using a snap mount I have a lot of fun with it and I think you will too. Also, if you don't have a snap mount yet and you want to pick one up, I recommend starting with the Pro Kit. It's got a nice variety of accessories for you to get started. Also, I was able to get a discount code for you guys. So if you use the link in the video description below, that'll give you a discount on your snap mounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time and have fun out there.